In the village of Akuku, stealing from the royal family is considered a grave offense that carries a severe punishment. It is believed that anyone who dares to steal from the royal family will be stoned to death by the village roots. Despite these street rules, DK and Okoro, two successful farmers in Akuku, were highly respected in the village for their hard work and dedication. Many maidens in the village wished to become their wife, except for one, Amarachi. Amarachi was known to be the most beautiful and hardworking maid in the village of Akuku. Amarachi was known for her beauty and work ethic, and many men in the village wished to become her husband. However, she remained focused on her work and never showed any interest in DK Okoro. Her refusal to persuade them only added to her alloy, making her even more desirable to the men in the village. One day, DK finally mastered the courage to confess his love to Amarachi. To his surprise, Amarachi revealed that she felt the same way about him. From that day on, DK and Amarachi became known as the two lover bears in Akuku. However, Okoro, who was also secretly in love with Amarachi, became jealous of their happiness. He could not bear the thought of DK being happy with Amarachi and vote to destroy their happiness. Okoro's jealousy increased when he found out that Amarachi was pregnant with DK's child. His hatred had turned into an obsession and he began to plot against DK. One day, Okoro went to see an old witch who was known for her evil powers. He told the old witch that he wanted the wife of his best friend, Amarachi and her born child to die while giving birth. The old witch then laughed with an evil grin and told Okoro that it could only be done with the sand from the royal palace of Akuku and that he must go to the palace at 12 in the middle of the night. Okoro knew it would not be easy to sneak into the palace, especially since stealing from the royal chambers meant a serious punishment like death. However, driven by jealousy and influence by his wicked thought, Okoro promised the old witch to get the sand from the palace the next day. Around midnight, Okoro carefully approached the palace, trying to stay hiding in the darkness, but his luck ran out when the palace guard spotted him. Caught in the act, Okoro was swiftly taken before the king for punishment. The king was furious at Okoro's audacity and decided to keep him in prison until the morning. With a heavy heart and full of regret, Okoro was led away by the guards and locked in a cold damp cell. The following morning, news spread throughout the village that Okoro had been caught, attempting to steal from the palace. DK and Amarachi were shocked and could not believe what they had heard. They wondered why Okoro would want to steal from the parlor, considering he was a wealthy farmer in Akuku. The king ordered the guard to bring Okoro out in front of the village youth who had gathered. Okoro felt ashamed and regretful for what he had done. He could not even look at DK and Amarashi as he was too ashamed of himself. The king then asked Okoro to explain to the youth why he had wanted to steal from the palace. Okoro confessed what he had come to the palace to do and begged DK and Amarachi for forgiveness. Admitting that jealousy had driven him to such actions. DK and Amarachi were shocked. They could not believe that their own best friend would do such a thing to them. DK found it in his heart to forgive Okoro and Amarachi did the same. However, the king decided that Okoro would not be stoned to death but would be banished from Akuku instead. The king did not want to stain his hands with blood. After being banished from Akuku, Okoro lost all of his wealth and everything he had worked so hard for, all as a result of his jealousy and wickedness. Meanwhile, Amarashi gave birth to a bouncy baby boy, and DK was very happy. He named the child Boy Lu Olisa, which means if not for God. DK and Amarachi live happily ever after. Lessons to be learned from this story is that jealousy and wickedness can bring great harm to oneself and others. It teaches us that it is important to control our emotions and not let jealousy drive us to make harmful choices. Forgiveness and kindness in the other hand can lead to happiness and harmony in our relationship. It also reminds us that the consequences of our actions can affect our lives greatly and it is crucial to think before we act. Additionally, it emphasizes the importance of thinking before acting as our actions can have long-lasting consequences. I hope you enjoyed this story. Please support me by subscribing to my channel, like this video, comment and share. Bye. See you in my next story.